I hate getting sick. It sucks. Just the universal facts of life. My way of describing most sickness is like having a lead balloon just spawn inside you and then... Stomach bugs are a type of sickness and they are a work of pure evil. Evil and evil craft. See this tiny little ball of spike? Oh, a tiny little ball of spike. Oh, don't step on it and you'll be fine. Right? Wrong. This tiny little spike ball can fly into your nose, mouth, probably ears and make you go and it can happen so easily, you can't escape it. I suppose vaccination is kind of like a cheat code when you think about it. One spike ball in particular was the Noroball, or the Norovirus, that's the scientific name of it. This spike ball just made me want to stop being, you know? Imagine the worst kind of food poison you could possibly imagine, like Salmonella for example. Well throw that out of the way and make it five times worse, then you've got the norovirus. Even though it's shorter lasting than food poisoning, this monstrous spike ball was contagious through basically everything. There is no way that I'm explaining the symptoms in detail. I mean, I can say the base of them, but they are a lot more disgusting than what I'll say here. The symptoms are stomach cramps, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, and the urge to cut off your will to live. When I had it, all I could do was to exist in bed, all day, all night, it was sad. But the immense relief I felt when I woke up feeling better again was otherworldly. On a 1 to 10 suffering spectrum, which I totally didn't just make up on the spot, 0 out of 10. Would not recommend to anybody. And I'm leaving a bad review, just so that this might make that stupid little spite ball think twice about bullying me for two days. On the topic of stomach ickies, my mum once told me that I got E. coli about three months old. Or was it three weeks? Obviously I don't remember it, but my mum says it was caused by contaminated baby milk powder. <laughs> More recently, in 2021, I contracted a different kind of icky. The cough cough oopsie lung one. The C's vid, the bad no no virus, it was a big problem and still kind of is. Now while it didn't affect me too badly, it still sucked a lot. It was right after the grand finale of chapter 2 season 7 on Fortnite, which I played a lot at the time. Season 8 was releasing and I did not want to go to school because I just wanted to play Fortnite all day long. But as luck had it, I lost my school bus pass on the date released. You might be wondering, wait what's this got to do with anything? This is just about you being a Fortnite kid. <laughs> Just let me explain. I was already feeling a little bit funky at the time, but it wasn't anything notable and I didn't really think much of it. But because I lost my bus pass, my mum was naturally annoyed at me. And since we don't have a car, I couldn't be driven to school, so I just had the day off. You see, my mum thought it was because of Fortnite that I intentionally lost my bus pass. She called it Fortnite fever. While it wasn't intentional, that is something that I probably would have done at the time, to be honest. Anyways, after a student would have been off for school for any reason at all, no matter what it was for, the school was required to test that student for the virus when they come back. And on the day that I came back, I developed a slight cough. Still didn't concern me too much though. After being tested, I was sent to class where I would just wait patiently. Five minutes went by. Nothing. Another five. Nothing. Another 20 minutes went by and a teacher walked in, told me to get my bag and my coat and escorted me to the reception office. I was informed that I tested positive and that my mum was coming to pick me up in a taxi. I went home with my face mask on, uncertain if I should be grateful because I could play Fortnite or worried that I have a nasty virus. Once I got home, I was told that I'd have to self-isolate as much as possible, which definitely sucked, yeah. But this did have a positive. I didn't have to share anything. Everything I wanted would be bought separately just for me. Drinks, food, everything. Bought for me and nobody else. I felt like the king of the house. I felt like I was being separated from the peasants. Okay, in all seriousness though, it did suck. Every morning I would wake up with my chest feeling horrible and just tight, and I just felt horrid in general. Having to stay away from people as much as possible for a couple of days did suck. Also, whilst making a script and the Halloween special script, I got sick at least three or four times. Probably gonna be more whilst I'm animating this video. I won't be surprised if soon enough, I'll have contracted every minor short-term virus known to man. On another one, tonsillitis. It's the worst, and I have to deal with that annually. Ever since I was young, once a year, I get this magical throat infection called tonsillitis. And if you don't know what that is, tonsillitis Tonsillitis is the infection of the tonsils, I mean it's kind of in the name. When you have tonsillitis you feel sick, bedridden and your throat ceases to work normally. The throat pain is really bad and it can get so sore to the point where swallowing air is painful. I always get it either directly after Christmas or at the start of every January. 
I swear it's I swear it's genetic. My mom had her tonsils removed because she used to get insanely bad and very frequently. I don't get it very frequently and normally I'm able to spot it very early and get it treated quickly, which minimizes the symptoms. All I need is anti All I need is anti anti by anti Antibiotics, antibio antibiotics. All I need is antibiotics, now be on my way to recovery. <laughs> this is the worst recording session ever. Anyways, in 2021, I got it a day after Christmas. In fact, I got it so bad that I just wasn't eating anything because I couldn't. My parents were genuinely worried, and so was I. I wanted to eat, but I just couldn't. Tell you what, if I get tonsillitis in either late December or early January, I'll post it on my Twitter, at Rocky Animations, and I want everyone to somehow make me feel better. Keep watch on it during late December and January, and follow me. <coughs> It's me, your favourite Goofy Goober, did you like the video? I couldn't remember the word for outro and I wrote intro on the script. I guess it works. I want to point out too that I have a Twitter, at Rocky Animations. Um, that's it really.